a couple of months ago i did a review on the attack compact day and night vision scope well since that time arkan optics have acquired attack and uh, the models are basically the same now the only difference is the name change and it's now called zulus uh, do check out the past review on this model uh, it's now called the zulus zhd 520 and you also have the Zulus ZHD 520R. So you've got two models. It's a digital day and night vision scope. I am a big pod user. If you've watched my videos in the past, I do love those models. But I was blown away by the Zulus image quality. Now the day image is excellent. Uh, night vision was great too. And it's slightly better than my pod 008S. So I had it rabbiting on the rim fires. Also plenty of rat pest control. Uh, we do catch those videos. And yeah, it performed great. So do check out the past review on that model. It was a pretty in-depth look. And as you can see here, image quality is excellent. Colours nice and sharp. They just pop. So the new Arkan Optics we have the Zulus ZHD 520R. The R, I'm guessing, denotes the rangefinder that is on this particular model. Uh, it's very quick unboxing. I won't bore you too long. So I'm sure you've seen a lot of unboxings of these models. You just saw the lens cloth. Uh, we have now have the instruction manual. Now this model, having the ballistic calculator and the laser rangefinder, the manual covers that extensively. You got four screws and an Allen key and fitting them out. You have the USB data charging cable. A low profile mount, picketing if fitting. Looking at the Arkham website, they do have an option to choose the dovetail mount. So in this case, I will have to use a picketing to dovetail mount adapter for the rifles I will be attaching the Zulus to. You've got a rubberized screw on eyepiece. And if I can get it out, the Zulus ZHD 520R. It's a digital day and night scope. Again, loving the compact design. It's a nice smooth design. On the laser rangefinder unit. And the IR situated underneath that. And like its little brother. The eyepiece is a screw-on design. Now on the right side of the unit, we have the SD card cover, charging port. Next to this, we have a small Picatinny rail, attached external IR torches, etc. Now moving on to the top of the unit, responsive soft-touch rubber operated buttons, and there that controls all your menus. Also located is the digital zone wheel. Now my only first worry is the battery cap. Now unlike its little brother, the screw cap is half the size of that cap. Now, I don't think this cap needs to be at least double in length, to be honest, and uh, with a deeper thread. Now unique to the Zulus ZHD 520R is the removable pill. Uh, basically swap the 850R for the 940 pills. Uh, it feels okay on the threads. Uh, it simply just screws out and you replace the pill if you so wished. I do like that. That's a nice touch. So again, the quality of build is excellent. I do love the design of the rangefinder. And it doesn't add too much weight to the unit. So the build quality specs the Zulus ZHD 520R is identical to its little brother the Zulus ZHD 520. Now, apart from the laser rangefinder, ballistic calculator, the specs on both units are identical. So that was just a quick look and an unboxing. And now the work starts and I'll get it fitted to the air rifles, rim fires. Now I think ideally the rangefinder will be better suited to air rifles and rim fires. The centre fire I own is a 223. I have it zeroed at 100 yards. And I find that's a good balance, middle distance for shooting out to 200 yards and anything closer. Uh, so I don't think it'd be more suited to air rifle and rim fire. 
with the closer trajectories of those calibers and I think it will be more suited for them. So I will be giving the Zulus ZHD 520R a workout in the field, uh, taking a closer look at the rangefinder and ballistic calculator. So do stay tuned for that. So until then, be safe.